Hi everyone, Antoinette here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna talk about phone anxiety. Understanding what it is and how to overcome it. Now, there is a name for this. It's called telephobia. That is the fear of taking and making phone calls. And you're probably watching this video if you either feel that way or you know someone who feels that way. If you do feel this way, know that it is very common. A 2019 UK study of office workers found that 76% of millennials feel anxious whenever their phone rings and 40% of baby boomers feel this way. With texting, with email, it is so easy to communicate without having that phone conversation that we're just not making and taking as many phone calls as we used to. Here are some underlying reasons why some people have phone anxiety. Number one, it is so difficult on the phone to actually pause and think about what you're going to say. You can do this in email. You can do this in text. Even in person, you can pause and think about something and through your body language, you can relay to the other person that you're thinking about something. Or even on a video call, you can relay that through video. However, in a phone call, when you pause, then the other person doesn't even know if you're there or if you're even listening because you're not responding. So we can't have those comfortable pauses. And for a lot of people, particularly for introverts, that can be really uncomfortable. Another reason why people have phone anxiety is because they feel self-conscious. They feel self-conscious, once again, about the pauses. They feel self-conscious about how they are relaying themselves through their voice and their words because that's all they have to relay. So the impression of you all comes down to your voice, the cadence of your voice, and the words that you're saying. That's it. There's a lot of confidence riding on very few things, and that can be a lot of pressure. So how do you overcome phone anxiety if you're feeling this way? It's important to be able to make calls, to be able to take calls, especially if you're in an office environment that requires that. And it's also saving a lot of time. A lot of times you can just pick up the phone and call someone and get an answer to something that would have taken a lot of effort if you went over to text or you went over email. It can just be handled over the phone so much easier. So let's talk about some ways that you can overcome phone anxiety. The first way is to leave voicemails after hours or when you know somebody is not going to pick up the phone. It's usually easier to do this in a professional situation when you know you're calling a place after hours and nobody's going to answer. And you can leave a voicemail. And then you are going to have the option to press pound. And after you leave that voicemail, you're going to be able to listen to your message. Go back and listen to it and then re-record it and then go back and listen to it again, you're gonna find that that second recording is going to be better than the first. I find this every time I go back and listen to my recordings. I still do this myself and I don't have phone anxiety, but I want to get better on the phone and so therefore I will go back commonly and listen to my messages. And then maybe hit pound and re-record it again and go listen to it a third time. And I promise you, your third time, you'll probably even like it better than your second time. You can do this and nobody is ever gonna know. It'll help you to be able to observe yourself. How do you sound on the phone and how can you sound better? With when you're doing that, you're just practicing, 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 and that's gonna help a lot. The second thing you can do is before you make a phone call, call someone who you feel really comfortable with. Call somebody like a family member or a friend and have a phone conversation with them, even if it's, if it's super short, to just kind of get warmed up. And then immediately after that conversation, call the person that you're anxious about having the phone call with. Now, if you're liking this video, I hope you'll subscribe for more videos on confidence, communication, all from an introvert's perspective.
Number three, if it's possible, when you are taking a phone call or you're making a phone call and you're feeling that like you're going to have some anxiousness or nervousness with that, try to just walk out, go to a secluded place. If, if you're able to walk outside, go to a room, shut a door, whatever you need to do. Because when you think about it, if you're having a phone conversation in a public place, then your brain is going to feel double the anxiousness because you're going to be conscious of your phone conversation and how you're coming across. And then you're going to be self-conscious about how you're being heard by the other people that are around you. Even if they're not listening to you, you're still likely to feel self-conscious about that because you're having a phone conversation in front of other people. And if someone is calling you and you feel a little bit of anxiety when that phone rings or you see their name pop up on your phone, let it go to voicemail. And sometimes during that voicemail, they They'll take out some of the mystery in the voicemail and let you know what they're calling about. And sometimes that can help. Now, if someone does call you and leaves a message and asks that you call them back, then even if it uncom feels uncomfortable for you, call them back. Sometimes people can feel really frustrated if they've made the phone call and all they get back is a text or all they get back is an email. So even if it feels uncomfortable for you, know that if you really want to connect with the person, if you really want to communicate with them the way they want to be communicated with and they specifically say, call me back, then give them a call back. Just like anything, once we get out of the practice, it does take a while before we get comfortable with something again. Know that once you start putting yourself back into the practice of making those phone calls, even though in the beginning it may feel really uncomfortable, you'll thank yourself later because you will develop more confidence and you'll feel that anxiety decrease. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you'll share it with someone else.